What's going on, family? This is Scrapbook Boxing Museum of the Forgotten Fisticuff Series. George Chavalo was a heavyweight who came around when a young Muhammad Ali, George Foreman, and smoking Joe Frazier was to be tested to show vulnerability and who could dispose of him. And George Chavalo would be the veteran. He could take a punch and he could punch himself. He was the Canadian heavyweight champion. And he would be the one to find out whether or not these three young phenomenons would be disposable. Now I want to get into George Chavalo's career, but I want to do it with you right here on the Museum of the Forgotten Fisticuff Series. Now, George Chavala was born September 12, 1937, in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. He stood six foot tall and weighed 202 to 232 pounds. He had a 71 inch reach. He was managed by Irving Underman. He had a fighting record of 93 total bouts, 72 wins, 63 knockouts, 19 losses, with two draws. He was trained by Teddy MacArthur. Now George was inducted into the World Boxing Hall of Fame in 1997. He would fight fighters such as Ron Durrell, Oscar Ringo Bonavena, Cleveland Williams, Smoking Joe Frazier, George Foreman. He was the holder of the Canadian Heavyweight Championship belt. He began his professional debut in 1956. He would have four fights, two first-round knockouts and two second-round knockouts. His last four fights in the year of 1965 would be part of the Jack Dempsey's heavyweight tournament. June through November 4th, he would have four fights in that tournament. He would have six fights in 1957. November 19th, he would face Big Bob Baker. Now, Bob Baker was ranked number two in the heavyweight division. He would face him in Toronto, Canada, and we lose to him in 10 rounds. Nineteen fifty-eight to 1964, he would defeat fighters such as Julio Mendoris, he would defeat him in 10 rounds. Howard King, knock him out in two rounds. James J. Parker, he would knock him out in one round. Frankie Daniels, he would knock him out in seven rounds. Yvonne Durrell, he would knock him out in 12 rounds. Bob Clerks, he would defeat him in 12 rounds. And Alex Smith, he would defeat him in 10 rounds. He would also knock out Doug Jones and lose to him himself. 1958 to 1964, he would lose the fighters, Pat McCarthy in New York, Pete Rademacher, he would lose to him in 10 rounds, Bob Clerics, he would lose to him in 12 rounds, he would have two fights with him, Zara Foley, he would lose to him in 10 rounds, 1965, he would face Floyd Patterson in New York and he would lose to him in 12 rounds, February 1st, Ernie Terrell, Toronto, he would lose to him in 15 rounds. November 1st, 1966, he would face Muhammad Ali. Toronto, he would lose to him in 15 rounds on March 29th. Oscar Bonavena, Madison Square Garden, he would lose to him in 10 rounds on June 22nd. 1967, he would face Smoking Joe Fraser, Madison Square Garden. And he would lose to him in four rounds. July 19th. In 1968, he would have six fights. 1969, he would face Buster Mathis, Madison Square Garden. And he would lose to him in 12 rounds on February 3rd. Jerry Quarry, he would face Madison Square Garden. He would knock him out in two rounds on December 7th. 
1970, he would face Big George Foreman in Madison Square Garden. He would lose to him in three rounds on August 4th. 1971, Jimmy Ellis, Toronto. He would lose to him in 10 rounds on November 17th. George Chevallo, known as having a granite chin, would sometimes expose his chin to see what you had, what you were made of. I want to take a look at George Chevallo's career. I have his own personal scrapbook. Let's take a look at George Chevallo. Now, this is a personal autograph that I received from George Chevallo, met him in the Boston Hall of Fame. He was kind enough to autograph this photo for me, and I would be forever grateful. Very, uh, very easy to talk to. A salute to George Cervallo. Let's take a look at the scrapbook. Now here you have George Cervallo and Arthur King on a heavy bag. Preparing for their bout in Toronto, Canada. Little Arthur King, signs for tough tests, named Joe Maselli. He had Howie King, likes his choice over George Cavallo. Chevallo versus King. Chevallo was 19. King was 22. Chevallo weighed 208. Chevallo 185 pounds. Chevallo was six foot, and King was six foot two and a quarter inches. George Chevallo versus Howard King, sensational young Tornadian, versus the West Coast star of Reno, Nevada. I'm just going through George Chevallo's career here. George Cervallo and Johnny Arthur. Cervallo was 19. Johnny Arthur was 26. Cervallo was six foot. Arthur was six foot two inches. Cervallo had a 72 and a half inch reach. Arthur had a 75 and three quarter inch reach. They have Bob Baker. Registers win over Cervallo. Boxing Monday. 8.45 p.m., heavyweights, 10 rounds. George Cervallo, Toronto sensational young heavyweight versus Big Bob Baker. Pittsburgh's top-ranking heavyweight has beaten such stars as Tonix Hall, Coley Wallace, and Jimmy Slag, Rex Lane, Nino Valdez, and Johnny Holman. This fight would take place at the Maple Leaf Gardens. Now, Maple Leaf Garden of Canada was the Madison Square Garden of New York.
George Chevrolet and his family. Before meeting Julio Mendoz. Howard King and George Chevallo. At this point, Howard King is 23. George Chevallo is 20. King is 187 pounds and Chevallo is 208 pounds. George Chevallo. Julio Mendoros. Chevallo is 20, Mendoza is 24. Chevallo is 210, Mendoza is 200 pounds. George Chevallo and Alex Mickey. Chevallo, six foot one, 20 years of age, 72 and a half inch reach. Alex Mickey, six foot one, 23 years of age, 74 and a half inch reach. George Chevallo, J.J. Parker. Monday, 8.45 p.m., Canada Heavyweight. Championship out, 12 rounds. George Chevallo. This is James J. Parker. Chevallo against Draw with Alec Mickey. George Chevallo versus Nino Valdez. Heavyweight Championship out at the Maple Leaf Gardens. George Chevallo was a star in Canada. He was the man. He was a heavyweight champion of Canada. And he faced them all. This is George Chevallo and Alex McCliff. Here's Alex McLeod. Nino Valdez. Facing George Chevallo for the heavyweight champion, uh, I should say Canadian championship of the world. George Chevallo, Nino Valdez. Almost blind in left eye, 30,000 gate, down the tubes, as Valdez fails his medical. You know Valdez was half blind in his left eye and never got to face George Chevallo.
Boxing canceled. So George Chavallo would face Pete Rademacher. Chavallo versus Pete Rademacher. Rademacher, Chivalo passed medical tests for battle on Monday. The checkups were ordered to prevent a reoccurrence of the Nino Valdez incident, which canceled the scheduled Chivalo scrap a month ago, less than six hours before the fighters were to step into the ring. Valdez it will be recalled, was found to have a cataract condition in his left eye, and the commission doctors refused to pass him. To add insult to injury, Chevalo Rademacher delayed fight scheduled for tonight. Because of a rain out. Angelo Dundee would be furious. Here's Angelo Dundee in the boat with Pete Rademacher. So George Chavallo, outstanding Canadian heavyweight champion, just came up short, but the ring greats, Big George Foreman, Muhammad Ali, and smoking Joe Frazier. Thanks for hanging in there with me. This is Scrapbook Box Museum of the Forgotten Fisticuff Series, stating that all great fights and all great fighters will never be forgotten on my channel. Salute to Big George Chivalo.